The next presentation is uh, from Win High Tech. It's uh, somewhat a new name in in international community, probably not in in China. So we have uh, Gao King Chen, who is a product director at Win High Tech. He is going to talk about the industrialization of efficient heterojunction technology in Win High Tech. Hello, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Guo Jinchen from Wing High Tech. Uh, today, my presentation is the industrialization of efficient HJT technology in Wing High Tech. I will introduce some work Wing High Tech has carried on the industrialization of HJT technology. Today, uh, I'd like to introduce my presentation from those three spectres. Wing High Tech is a new joint venture established in December 2021 with the registered capital of three billion Chinese yuan. Wing High Tech is located in eastern China, Zhoushan City, uh, Zhejiang Province. Wing High Tech is an HJT oriented new energy company. The target is to be industrialization leadership. HGAT technology is the core development direction of Wing High Tech. And uh, the initial project, three gigawatt cell, five gigawatt module has been done. Uh, and the three gigawatt HGAT cell is the biggest individual HGAT project in China as of now. Uh, here is the company capacity planning. Uh, Wing High Tech has planned four projects based overseas and domestic with a total cap sale capacity up to 30 gigawatt and a total model cap capacity 15 gigawatt. Wing High Tech was set in 2021 as mentioned above and the best will be first construction. The first Joshan project Best has been finished with three gigawatt cell and five gigawatt module capacity. Or of the cell in the first uh, in the first uh, phrase use HJT technology. Here shows the view of the factory. Uh, the, the left picture is the aerial view of the factory. Uh, the initial uh, phrase project of Wing High Tech. And the right, the right picture is actual view, is actual view of uh, before the project. And uh, there is nothing of that says time, 20, uh, March, 2022. Leading a, leading, leading a new energy ecology, creating a new, create a new green life is Wing High Tech's vision. And the customer first, Continuous innovation, embrace change, contribute oriented is Wing High Tech's very. And uh, the company man management phil philosophy is bona fide, cooperation, win win, quite first. Here are, I will think I'll introduce the HGH industrialization in Wing High Tech. Uh, in general, as the next generation technology of PV industry, HGH is getting more and more attention, and uh, more and more companies are engaged in HGH technology. The production of HGH will be increasing in future as a debt from ITR PV. There will be over 50 gigawatt capacity in 2023 overseas overseas and domestic. HGH is the next generation technology of PV industry and uh, has higher efficiency. The so HGH cell efficiency also increased rapidly. 
The champion efficiency in laboratory has achieved 26.81%, which was created by Longji. And the champion power, power of module has achieved 750 watt, which was created by Huashin. Wing high tech, uh, by the way, uh, by the way, wing high high tech cell efficiency in laboratory also achieved 26% in internal test and will send third party to cert certificate to the cell efficiency. And the mainstream cell e efficiency in mass production also has achieved 25.7% and the and the corresponding module power output will could reach 700 watt. Uh, as the general, as the next generation technologies, the industrialization of HJT still face many challenges, such as cost, efficiency, limiting, reliability. Uh, Win High Tech has carried work on cost down, efficient. Uh, cell efficiency increasing and the reliability improving to promote the industrialization. Uh, as for the cell industrialization, the cell cost and efficiency are two critical factors in the industri industrialization process. To cut the cost and increase the efficiency, Win High Tech has carried out work in many aspects such as high capacity equipment, thin wafer, double-sided micro, micro crystalline process, and so on. Uh, and uh, some has been industrialized in wind high tech, such as high capacity equipment, uh, which was marked in green, and uh, some, some is just uh, on the development, such as zero BB, uh, says was marked in blue, and some some is just uh, researching that was marked in, in yellow. Uh, so we for for HJT use half stick slicing process currently, and the uh, half stick slicing process and uh, the sim, 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 symmetrical structure of HJT enables industrialization of thinner wafer. The mainstream, the mainstream wafer thickness for HJT is 120 micrometer. Uh, and some components achieve the industrialization of 110 micrometer currently. And as for wing high tech, 110 micrometer wafer has been industrialized. So thinner wafer can help to realize the cost advantages of HJT. Uh, so wafer cost is lower than N type Topcon, uh, approximately uh, two to three centers Chinese yuan per watt. And the uh, microcrystalline process is important to, to increase this HJT cell efficiency. Single side micro crystalline process could increase approximately 0.5% efficiency. And the double, double side, double side micro crystalline process is about, uh, is approximately 0.7% compared with amorphous process. Uh, so uh, here, uh, so Left uh, the left chart is the HGH efficiency. Uh, uh, is the is the HGH efficiency distribution in mass production. The so red chart is the production that in wind high tech. <coughs> uh, so uh, so that shows that the mainstream HGH cell efficiency has achieved twenty five point seven in mass production. Uh, and the latest yield is 97%, while the breakage rate is only 0.5% in mass production. Uh, here is, uh, as for the module, uh, as, for, as for the HGH module industrialization, uh, weak adhesive performance, weak empty 
performance uh, and UV performance and the sensitive to water is the reliability challenges. To improve the adhesive performance between HGH cell surface and the encapsulation film, we adjusted the film formula. The left chart shows the pure strength using film with uh, using film with conventional formula and the film with adjusted formula. The pure strength uh, the pure strength has been improved much using film with adjusted formula compared with conventional. Uh, currently, the film with adjusted formula has been applied in mass production in wind high tech. As, uh, as for weak end UV performance, there, uh, there, are, uh, there are also two solutions in PV industry currently. One solution is UV, uh, is UV cutoff film, and the, the, other, the other solution is light converging film. And uh, the, uh, the, the solution of UV cutoff film will lose some CTM compared with the solution of light converging film. The so light conversion film solution has been widely accepted currently. And uh, as for wind high tech, we has we has we has applied the uh, light conversion film in mass production. Uh, here, uh, here's the chart above uh, the chart above shows sure, sure the power, power gain using light conversion film compared with using uh, conventional film. The actual power test shows, the light, shows that the light conversion film will get a, a approximately 1.5% power gain. And uh, as for HGH sensitive to, wa uh, to water, there are also two solutions using high uh, Using high water resistant silicon or butyl rubber during the model age. Uh, the left chart uh, is the water vapor transmission stage of water resistant silicon. And uh, the right chart is the DH test of butyl rubber. And as for wind high tech, is, is has access to the two solutions. A comprehensive uh, a comprehensive evolution from material properties process to cost. By uh, by optimizing the HJT model design, and uh, now uh, and the current race HJT model reliability has been okay. Here are the reliability uh, are the reliability test. Uh, Results of H of H H module, three times IEC standard standard test, and uh, the three times IEC standard test the results shows that H H module has excellent reliability. And uh, as for uh, and as for the as for the module output H H module output, uh, we uh, also uh. By optimizing the HJT module design combined with MBB technology and the light conversion film, the module power output has achieved 700 watt. And the chart and the chart above shows that sure shows the mainstream module power output uh, in mass production has achieved uh, 705 watt. Uh, uh, here, uh, uh, the last, uh, uh, here, uh, here are, we'll, we'll introduce the wing high tech product strategy. Uh, wing high tech is an HGH oriented company and, uh, uh, we'll use the HGH technology as a platform, uh, platform for product development. 
combined with other technologies, such as BC, uh, BC technology perovskite. And in near future, Wing High Tech will carry out work on HBC and also uh, and also will will carry out work in tandem technology in future. Uh, here shows the uh, shows the product layout of Wing High Tech. And uh, as an HGT oriented company, HGT cell and model are the mainstream products of Wing High Tech currently. And uh, so HGT model product cover covers covers several types, such as 66 cells type, uh, 60 cells type, and uh, and the mass production uh, power output is uh, could up to 710 watt. And in order uh, and in order to meet various customer needs, Wing High Tech also provides Topcon and Park model products. And uh, by the way, uh, all the products ha have have got third party product certification, such as TUV, mm. uh, says my presentation, says or thank you. Okay, thank you very much uh, for this uh, presentation. And so I really learned a lot about what you are doing. So one question from my side is, uh, you know, in the beginning, you mentioned you have a 30 gigawatt of cell capacity and 15 gigawatt of module capacity. I mean, this is what you are expecting to build. So would you like to supply your cells? Okay. Uh... Actually, uh, actually, uh, 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 first story, uh, Wing High Tech, uh, uh, as an SGH oriented company, could provide both cell product and uh, module product to customer, and uh, the cell product is only SGH cell uh, cell product, and based on the G twelve with size. While uh, while the module pr uh, products are not only HGT products, uh, but also pork and the top com products, some uh, uh, as we know that the module pr uh, the module production line is flexible, and we could provide the module products based on M10 and G12 size. We uh, we provide the HGT pr Product based on G12 12 with size, Topcom products based on M10 with size, and the pork, pork products based on both M10 and G12 with size. And in general, Wing High Tech could provide all kinds of products to meet different customers' needs, even customized products. Okay. 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 Thank you. Um... Please, uh, uh, you know, stay back and uh, also answer there, uh, if there are any questions. I already see one question there. So can you please uh, answer these questions? Meanwhile, I will move on to the next presentation. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So the next presentation is from a leading back sheet and encapsulation producer and supplier Cybre. Uh, of course, today the topic is not the back sheet, but only the encapsulation. So Carl Wong, R&D Director of PV Products at Cybre. <laughs>